Hey everybody, today what we're going to tackle is the unasked question of weight loss. So let's get right into it. So whenever we talk about what causes a disease or condition, the most important thing to understand is really what causes it. So for example, if you understand that an infection is caused by a bacteria, then you can prescribe antibiotics. If you understand that a heart attack is caused by a blockage in a blood vessel, then you can open it. When we're talking about weight loss, the most important thing to understand, the most important question that we really want answered is what caused the body to gain weight in the first place? And this is a question that we don't really think about a lot because we think we already know the answer. Seems so simple, doesn't it? Well, it's just calories in versus calories out. But is that really the answer? Because what's interesting is that the human body actually has no way of measuring calories. It has no idea and it doesn't care at all. So in all the human physiology research that we've done over the past 100, 200 years, there's nothing in the body that measures calories. There's no receptors for calories, there's no hormones that measure calories. The body actually has no idea how many calories it is or it isn't eating. So what is a calorie? So what are calories? Well, calories are derived from physics. They're really just a unit of heat. So we use a machine called a calorimeter. And what we do is we put a piece of food, for example, a bagel, into this calorimeter and we burn it and we determine how much heat is given off. We could just as easily put, say, a piece of meat into this calorimeter and measure how much heat is given off, or we could put a piece of wood, which is not even a type of food, and we can see how much heat is given off. The problem with this approach, which is the calories approach, is that the body has no way to measure that, and it has no way of understanding what it's supposed to do with all of the energy that you've just eaten. That is, our body depends on hormones. So, those are the chemical messengers that tell the body to do specific things. So, for example, if we want our body to store body fat, we need hormones to tell our bodies to store that body fat. The calories alone are not going to do it. Because if we eat 250 calories of wood, for example, that will just pass right through our body. It's not food, we don't absorb it, and we're not going to store fat by eating wood. So what's important is that the body only cares about hormones, whereas this device only measures the amount of energy stored in that food. And this is why we get confused as to why the body is gaining fat, because we think it's about calories, but the body only cares about hormones. So we get to this uh, concept called the energy balance equation, and this is where things start to get complicated. So this is what most people think about with calories, is the energy balance equation. And it's usually written like this. Fat, the amount of fat that you store, equals calories in minus calories out. So the idea is that if you simply take a few extra calories, say you eat an extra 250 calories, whether it's from a bagel or whether it's from a piece of meat, as long as that is in excess of the amount of calories that you're using in a day, you're going to store body fat. But let's think about this. What if we were to eat 250 calories of wood, for example? Well, that's a calorie. But clearly, it's not going to cause us to store body fat because it's not even food. So instead, what we have to understand that different types of calories are going to evoke completely different hormonal responses. So instead of thinking about it as a calories in, calories out, which does not come with the instructions as to what to do with those calories, you have to understand that different types of calories are going to provoke certain hormones to go up. And some of these hormones, for example, are going to be insulin. So if you eat a bagel, like carbohydrates, 
insulin's going to go really high. Uh, we have mTOR, for example. So this is another type of nutrient sensor. If you eat protein, this is going to go up high. So if insulin goes up high, our body tends to store that energy. If you eat a lot of protein, mTOR is going to go up, and that's actually instructions for our body to start building building proteins, uh, building muscle, that kind of thing. If we eat protein, another hormone called peptide YY is going to go up. And that's just a tidy hormone that tells us to stop eating. So for example, if we've eaten our fill at the, at the all-you-can-eat buffet, it's very hard to eat another piece of a pork chop because of the peptide YY. It's going to release it and we're so full that we don't want it. And same thing, when you eat dietary fat, you're going to release something called cholecystokinin. And cholecystokinin is also a satiety hormone. So when you eat fat, such as with meat, or when you eat eggs, for example, they're gonna fill you up. Whereas if you drink a soda, it's not going to. Now, this is even for the same number of calories. You're telling the body completely different instructions because the minute you put those calories in your mouth, your body has a completely different hormonal response. When you eat carbohydrates, insulin will go up. When you eat meat, mTOR peptide YY cholecystokinin goes up. When you eat wood, none of these will go up. So your body has instructions as to what to do with those calories because it's not simply the number of calories that's important, it's what your body does with those calories. So when you take those calories in, your body can do many different things with it. It can store it as fat if insulin goes up. It can use it to build muscle, like if your mTOR goes up. It can also pass it out through the intestinal system as with if, if you activate none of them and you pass it out like a piece of wood. It can also burn it off as energy. And those are going to have very different effects on the amount of body fat that you carry. So it's not the number of calories, but the instruction that those calories carry, the hormonal responses of those foods that is going to determine what eventually happens to our body. So when we think about the question of how do you gain weight, it's really a question of what hormones are you activating for those calories that you're eating, for the number of calories and for the type of calories, what hormones are you activating that is leading you to get to this state where your body is gaining fat? Because if you think about it, it really makes no sense. Because if it was simply a calories in, calories out, the way that most people think about it, it all comes down to calories in, which is how much you eat, which is something you control and calories out, and oftentimes people say it's the exercise that you do. Both of which are under your own conscious control. You control what goes in your mouth, you can decide if you go for a run or not. And therefore a lot of people think that body fatness is really a function of your own conscious control. Which actually makes no sense, because if you look at a graph of what happened to North America over the last 50 years, you can see that there was a very sharp turn somewhere around 1977 where the obesity epidemic really got rolling. The rate that people, especially Americans, started to become obese started rising very quickly in 1977. And it's not simply because all the Americans in the world, you know, all the Americans, Canadians, and everybody over the world just suddenly decided that they were going to eat more. It wasn't that, it was the change in two things, which is the types of calories that we're eating, and also how often we're eating it, which is giving our body different types of instruction. So if you understand that it's really about the hormones that go along with those calories, then you can focus on what different types of food and what different types of eating regimens can beneficially change those hormones so that you lose weight. And that's going to be a much more successful way to get to the desired weight. And that's really why calorie counting doesn't work. Because we're so focused 
on something that our body actually doesn't understand. We don't have the instruction. Calories don't contain the instructions that we need. We need to focus on the hormones. And that's it for today. We're going to go more into depth into calories in a future lecture. So make sure to look out for that. If you liked it, make sure you uh, hit the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel below and turn on the bell for notifications. You can also check me out at thefastingmethod.com and also check out my books, The Obesity Code and The Obesity Code Cookbook. Thanks for watching, everybody.